Hi Dressed Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Princess Elena of Avalar from Disney. So let's get started. To draw Princess Elena, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically the bottom of a U. I'm going to make it pretty wide so it's come across about right here. Draw the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve at the bottom. So just a basic bottom of a U. Now let's come right back to where we started and on the edge is right here. Let's draw a circle. And same thing on the other side. Okay, so let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Okay, so then from there, let's come on to the edge right here and we're going to draw the lashes. So I'm just going to have them pretty simple. Just come right here and just curve out one and two. Just two curves, same thing over here. One and two. And then from there, let's come to the center about this area and just give her a sweet smile. Slightly comes up on this edge and cap it off. Then from there, we can go ahead and let's see here. Um, we have to start to draw her hair. So let's imagine this as an oval. So it's going to be pretty high up because she has this crown and all um, that stuff going on. So let's say about right here, nice and high. I'll give myself a point by right there. And I'm going to bring a curve it comes all the way down to where you started. So same thing on this side, we're going to come about right here and scoop a curve that comes out. So that's what you want to start with. And let's come back and draw her brow. So about right here, just going to tuck in a curve, whatever space I have left. And same thing on the other side. Okay, so then now let's start to uh, work on her hair. So at the top right here, um, she has this crown. So using this as my guide, I'm going to come just give myself a little bit of space and I'm going to start to draw a curve right on top of her head. So I've created this curve so it's right on top. Just a soft curve. Come here, make it a little bit smoother. And then from there, let's start to work on the hair on this side. So we're going to come down. And on this area right here, I'm just going to curve with a strand. And right here, finish it off. So that's the first strand. And then on this side, it's a little bit different. It's an actual big curve and connect it. And then you can come in here for some details right here and just swoop in a curve. And 
and then right here there's another mound of hair right here and then you can just tuck it right in so then before i forget i'm just going to come in here and dangle an earring so i'm just going to put a straight line and then like a little teardrop shape so same thing here there okay so then now we can work on her crown so using this um, curve that you gave yourself that we drew i'm going to come up with a curve and thicken this band right here and come right back down so we have a little band for our, um I went a little too far for our crown so about right there and then right in the center is where we're going to draw this big teardrop shape. So I'm just going to come right to the center about right here and I'm just going to create this big teardrop right in the center and then we can start to draw the rest of the crown. So come out right here and draw curves that come down and tuck it right in. So same thing here. The first one's just a bit bigger and it's going to get smaller and then just tuck it right in and for some details on the crown you can um, lightly just come in here and finish off each bump right here and same thing here And of course there's a lot more details in there so it all, it's all up to you how much detail you want to put but i'll just put these bands for now and same thing here so i'm just thickening up this curve okay so finally now we're going to finish some more of her hair so let's come up right here and I kind of go over the crown and we're just going to build up more of her hair for the top and come right back down. And same thing, just tuck it right back in there. Just indication of more hair. And then right here, I forgot, let's draw the jewel in here. So just follow your outside curve to draw the inside. Okay, so finally we're done with that part. And she has more hair on the side, but I'll um, save that for when I'm done with the body. So let's come right here and in the center, give her a neck, and then we're gonna come out for her shoulders. And same thing over here. Then from there, just kind of imagine where her armpits would be. So say about right here and here. I'm just giving myself two points. And I'm going to draw two slight angle lines. Now I have nowhere I'm working with, so it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to draw two curves right in the center and out. So this is the beginning of her top. And I'll bring this down a little bit more. and connect it and I'll give it a little band right here and then let's see here then we can start her skirt so come out poof it out but before I do that I know her hand I have one of her hands on kind of on her skirt so let's come back up here and using this as my guy I'm going to come in here with a curve because she has this little part right here. So let's come down, imagining her arms are being bent. So about right there, I'm just going to tuck in the sleeve and same thing over here. So this hand is down and about right here, just connect it. So this one's gonna flare out a tiny bit more and this one's more um, downwards. From there, let's work on this hand. So once again, we're gonna bend it to about right here. Bring out an angle 
And we're going to start to bring it together and bend it. So we're right there. Right here. And bend it in. And it's going to be on her skirt. So about right here. And the hands. So this is totally simplified. So just it's kind of like the shape and then and add two curves for the hand. And then let's finish off this skirt right here. You can poof it out more. And then on this side, we're just going to taper her hand, make it much simpler. So we're right here. And we're just going to tuck it in. So let's bring this down more. So say about right here. And just tuck it in. Much simpler, right? <laughs> so if this is too hard for you, you can just do the same thing on the other side. But we're just going to bring down our skirt more now. And let's see here. Keep going down. Okay, so before we do draw the rest of her skirt, we have this ruffle thing right here that's going on on both sides. So we want her skirt to be about this area. So I'm going to come about right here in the center. And I'm going to start two angle lines. So this is going to be the first layer. And I'm basically going to curve down. All the way down to oh, about that much. And I'll stop. So one, two, three, four, about four curves. And so your goal is when you, um, it's kind of at this angle. That's what your goal is when you're drawing these curves. So then from there, you can go ahead and finish it off. So right here, you're going to connect it to that edge. Then there's going to be a line going to this edge. And it's just, your goal is just so that it kind of has the same angle. So right here. And then on this edge, you'll be coming down right here. Now it's a bit tricky. So let's bring this out a tiny bit more. And one more. So you might have to make some adjustments to your curves if you need to bring it out a little bit more. But that is the goal. So by creating this curve, you've created this ruffle look. So hopefully it will make that a little bit easy for you to follow. And then from there, we can go ahead and just finish off her skirt about right here. Just going to finish it off. Okay, now to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to mimic the other side. So wherever I went in, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact, but you just want to, wherever it popped out, pop it out on the other side as well. And then just bring it back to the same level on the other side. Okay, so once again, let's come down right here, connect it, and then the angle, angle. It's easier to see on this side, hopefully. Uh, another one and one more. Our goal is still once again that angle. And one more. There. And then once again, just go ahead and curve 
And so bring this out a little bit more, flare it out, and curve. Now we can go ahead and finish the rest of her skirt. So come out right here because this, there's an inner layer. And then round this part off. And the bottom. So we're just going to draw a soft curve all the way across. Now that the dress is pretty much done, now we can work on her hair. So let's come right back up in this area right here and I'm just gonna draw a big curve that comes out. And about right here, I'm gonna give it a big curl, come out, bring it back in, and just tuck it in. And then right here in this area, draw a curve. And then there's going to be more coming down right here. So about right here, pop it out again. And another curl and tuck it right back in. There. And I almost forgot she has this bow right here that's connected to this um, band right here. So come out right here. Let's draw a bow. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this drawing of Princess Elena of Avalor from Disney turned out. I know this drawing is a little bit more complicated because of this area right here and maybe the crown area, but I really hope I was able to help you uh, draw this a little bit easier and I made it fun. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.